Today I'm going to talk about two pair of pants. It's Lundhogs pants, Lundhogs Balkan and Lundhogs Macke. Lundhogs Balkan is probably eight or ten year old and this Macke is less than one year old. I'm going to give you my point of view of this pair of pants and I'm also going to tell you why did Lundhogs send me a totally brand new pair of this pair of pants and why do they want this pair of pants back. My name is Matti, I'm working as a nature guide dog musher and I also make these YouTube videos up in northern Sweden. I'm living in Jokmot just above Arctic Circle together with my partner and girlfriend Stina. We do this, all these things together. Outdoor life is actually what we're living from and what we're living for. Let's start with the new one and then we go back to the old one. It's really important to look into both these kind of pants to really understand how Lundhogs is working and why things are going as they are doing. Lundhogs was a small company only 10 kilometers away from the place where I grew up. Back in old days they made hiking boots and then they also started to doing clothes and now they also do backpacks and other outdoor equipment. Back in old days it was a company with people with roots from the outdoor life. Today, I don't really know. I think that Lundhogs, the company, the family who started Lundhogs sold it to an investment company. I'm not really sure. You had to look it up by yourself. There, I have a bird here that are kind of noisy. Lundhogs Macke is a little bit more tight model of hiking pants. They are not fluffing around all over the place. They are not like tight, uh, but a little bit more tighter hiking pants. A model that I really like very much. So the ventilation on these pants is actually one part on the lower part of the leg, where you have a zipper that you can open. And when you open it like this, it opens up a lot. And then you can have good ventilation on the lower part of the leg. That's actually not the part of the leg where I get warm. So I get warm in the higher part of the leg and usually between my legs is a place where I want ventilation. And then they have a zipper here uh, on the inside of the leg where it's actually is a good position but the fabric, the mesh fabric in here is not enough. It's just a tiny piece of mesh. They must make that more mesh if you really want a good airflow through, through the pants. I can cut away the mesh, of course, if I want, but the ventilation without mesh, like the lower part, you don't use it when it's mosquitoes. So you need the mesh for the mosquitoes, for sure. Then Lundtox also mentioned the pocket as a ventile. And I would say that that's just crap talk because you don't use a pocket as a ventile. You use a pocket for storage area. You put your car key there, you put your telephone, you put a pay card or something in the pocket, things that you don't want to lose, matches, whatever. So the pocket should be closed. That should be routine, close the pocket, and then it's not a ventile. Then we had to look at the material. And the material, the three different types of material on this pump pants. One part, as on the ass, is actually a little bit more flexible, stretchy material. That is super nice. I really enjoy it. I haven't really had problem that the mosquito have bitten through it. I can't say that it's mosquito proof, but I have not really think about that they biting through it, so it can't be a big problem. The other part, the more bright yellow, that is not flexible and that is a really, really sturdy material and a kind of strong material. Then on the lower part of the leg, you have this black material. That is a little bit Kevlarish something, I don't know. This material is good because when you go through mud, when you go it's water, it's not absorbing water and mud. So you just take away it like this and it's fine, you can actually put water on it and clean it when you come to the camp. I like that very much. There is some downsides with that probably, and we will come back to that later. The fabric in the pants all over is kind of good because you also get the ventilation through the fabric. So it's really nice hiking pants. When we look at the pockets, you have the upper small pockets here, and then you have the bigger pockets on the leg. The bigger pockets on the legs are in a good position. They easily fit a big cell phone. You can put a map there. They are good. They're not too big, and yeah, I'm, I'm satisfied with them. 
I don't want the pocket on my hiking pants to be too bulky and big because I transport my gear in my backpack. I don't transport so much gear in my pockets. And then Lundhogs have a waist adjustment. It's up here and it's a Velcro thing like this. So you can open up and you can tighten it and you tighten it under here. And this make it possible to wear these pants without the belt, without something that keeping the pants on you. You can wear them just like this and you will not losing them. It's nice with pants that you're not losing, of course, or at least I think so. When, when I carry a heavy backpack, I don't want a lot of material between my hip belt and my body because that gives problem, that gives the blizzards and so on my hips. So if I can wear my pants without uh, a belt, it is super. If we look at the zipper, the zipper on these pants are quite good. It's YKK. If you buy Lundhogs from a low price company like XXL in Sweden, then the zipper are a little bit less good. It seems like that at least. So the Lundhogs you buy directly from Lundhogs or the Lundhogs you buy from a little bit more expensive shops are better than the Lundhogs you buy from XXL. Or it was like that some years ago. It seems like the price is also different because you pay a little bit more for these ones than the ones from XXL, but there is some different quality. I haven't tried the pants from XXL, so I can't really tell you that it is like that, but it's only what I have seen when I've been looking at them in the shop. Then we have to talk about the color. I choose this yellow because I really enjoy the color. I love this color. But what do you think happened when you go hiking with these pants during the blueberry season and you are sitting down on the ground? Then this butt part of the pants get blue spotted, bluish. So I like the color, it's beautiful, but if you're going to pick up a lot of blueberries, pick something else or Lundhogs, why don't make the butt darker so you actually can sit down in the blueberry area? <laughs> so then we had to look at the durability of these pants. These pants I've only used like less than 500 km hiking, some canoe tours, packcraft tours and so on. I haven't used them a lot yet. That's also one of the reasons why I have brand new Macke on me right now. What happened to me is that I actually get holes here between the study material and the normal fabric here. It's on the inside of the leg and uh, it shouldn't be like this. They are worn out actually. And I also have problem with the thread some places that the thread have lost, loosened up and are gone like here for example. This is what could happen when you use a material that is a little bit harder and another material that's a little bit more soft. Then this can happen. I've seen it on other pants like Kletemusen and so on and it seems like this is a problem. I will come back to that later. I contact Lundhags and they said that probably the thread had been too tight or something like that. When I look at it, it could be, maybe not, I will, I'm not sure. So we will see after a while when I've used these pants, I, the new ones. Anyway, I'm really disappointed on this part of these pants, but I'm really impressed of the service from Lundhags. They just send a new pair of pants to me and I'm happy for that. So we will see what happened with, with my new ones. So a real conclusion will come later. Now we're going to look at my old Lundhogs pants. And when we look at them, you maybe understand something with the solution from the new ones. This is Lundhogs Balkan. I don't know how old these pants are, but they are seven, eight, ten year old. And I have used them a lot. The life for a pair of pants with me is that first I use them for meetings in Jokmok, going shopping and you know, if you have a brand new pair of pants, I don't use them for working directly. After that, I start using them on some more soft tours like a canoe tour or a pack raft tour, hiking tour and so on. And then in the end, I using them for fishing tours and more rough tours. And finally, I start using them as working pants in the kennel working pants at our place and so on, cutting firewood and everything like that. These pants have survived everything like that and they survived two years as working pants in the kennel. 
So they are really, really, really good. Lundhag's Balkan, you can't find them anymore, sadly. But Lundhag's Balkan is a much less slim pair of pants. They are not like Macke. Uh, I like the Balkan very much, but I also, I think I prefer pants like Macke, who are a little bit more tighter fit to me. But I have never complained over the Balkan. So they are, I have been happy with them, really happy. The construction is really roomy. They are really good for autumn tours when you need to have several layers under them. I would say that Macke is a better pants for summer trips when you don't need long johns and things like that. The material on Lundhags Balkan should be the same as the material on Lundhags Macke, but one big difference. Lundhags Balkan don't have the heavy duty Kevlar strings stuff on the lower part of the leg. Lundhags Balkan have another kind of canvas something here. It's really, really soft and, and different. And when I look here, nothing has happened. Not a single hole. All the threads are still there. I have used them very, very much and nothing like that has happened. Of course, there is holes on the lower part here. Now we're not talking about 100 km hike, 1000 km hike. We're talking about much, much more. Several thousand kilometers I've been walking with these pants, canoeing, pack rafting, and I have a hole like this. That is totally okay. Totally okay. The downside of this material is that when you walk through water or mud, it absorbs water, it absorbs the mud. So the whole pants can be more or less dry, but the lower part are soaking wet. Mm, I haven't been impregnating it. I could have done that, of course, but I haven't done that. Don't ask why, but if I have impregnated, it had probably been better. Very impressive fabric. Then we look at the ventilation. These pants don't have a zipper on the lower part. It's not a problem because they are much wider in the lower part, so they easily fit over your hiking, hiking boots. You don't have a zipper on the lower part and then you actually don't have a ventilation there either. So the only ventilation on this part is on the outside of the leg here, a zipper. When you look at this, then it's much more mesh here. You see, here they understand how to make the mesh. Why, Lundhags, haven't you kept that way of making mesh ventilation to the Macke? I don't know. This was really, really, really good. As I said before, it's actually on the inside you want the ventilation somehow because it's on the inside of the legs, at least I get warm. The fabric itself also ventilates a little bit, so they are kind of nice to walk with, even if it's warm. Then we look at the pockets. And the pockets are roomy, it's enough with space, that's not a problem. But the pocket only has the Velcro close. And when you put something value in here, a telephone or something, you want a zipper, you want to close it. If you put a car key and a telephone and then you're sitting down and do something, then suddenly it's falling out of the pocket. That's not okay. You need zippers on the pocket. So that's a real downside with the Balkan. You see, I used this pocket so much for the telephone, so I actually got a hole here. I had to repair it several times. Lundhag's Balkan had the same idea with, with this uh, adjustment thing in the, in the hip here. So you don't need a belt. And that's good, as I told you before, when you carry a backpack with a hip belt, then you have, don't have the belt between the hip belt and your body. So Lund, Lundhag's Balkan had the same idea here with the adjustment thing in the, up here. All over, these adjustment things have been really, really good on the Balkan. Now we have to look at the durability of the Balkan. When you know how much I've been using them, they are actually really amazing how it still looks. If we compare this fabric, stretch fabric, on the two different, on the new ones and the old ones, I think that the new ones look less durable than the old ones. But Lundag said it should be the same kind of material. I don't really know if it is the same material. Maybe it's the same material, they bought it as the same material, but something has happened to the producer, I have no idea. It is different reaction on the material when you use it, and yeah, I don't know. I really don't believe that this Macke can be durable as 
the Balkan. I'm still happy with Lundark's Macke and it's still really better pants than for example Revolution Lace that I also made a review of. Revolution Race I really recommend you to not buy but these ones I, I could actually, they are good. If you can get a Balkan that's a really really good pants. That's a total different level from Macke. So what is your experience of these Lundox pants? Have you tried them? Have you had Lundox Macke? Maybe you know more about Macke than I do. Please leave a comment and, and tell me what you think about it. And I hope you can use some of this knowledge when you're buying pants. Also this knowledge is good when you're buying different brands and so on. That was all from me in Jokmok. See you next video. Over and out. Ciao.